G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, I'm of course Scalfless and today we're going to be taking a look at the Path of Champions in Legends of Runeterra, we are going to be doing the 4 star weekly adventure today against the Jinx and we are going to be using Thresh for this one. So I have been trying this for quite some time, um, never went too well because I couldn't even get past the first battle. Uh, we are going to try it again, we are going to keep trying until I could at least get something, you know, a little bit more reasonable to share. Uh, I don't think you guys want to see a run where I just lose at the first battle. That would be a waste of your time and quite frankly a waste of mine as well. So I would like to try to at least get to the final boss or well maybe even halfway or maybe even slightly after that. That would be the best case scenario. But anyway, yeah, new set of weekly adventures today, uh, 4 star Jinx and this one is actually really really challenging. Uh, I love a community post asking you guys which champion I should use at work so once I got home I wanted to try the champion. So many of you actually suggested Thresh and we are going to go ahead and try Thresh. Unfortunately I didn't really have too much luck with him like I said. But we are going to keep at it, we are going to keep trying until I get something reasonable uh, to share here on the channel. So let's just quickly go over the special rules here first real quick. Uh, we are going to start with Nature's Revenge. Sorry, the enemy is going to start with Nature's Revenge. When the foe gains the attack token, it summons a sapling. Uh, with stand round, start grant the foe's units plus 0 plus 1. And Vicious Enemy plus 10 XL plus 1 stock mana and plus 1 stock hand size. So yeah, as you can already tell, this is pretty crazy. Which stand is pretty insane. Nature's Revenge is going to be a little bit challenging. But I think Thresh should be able to capitalize off of it if we're able to put him on on turn 1 obviously that would be insane but yeah i think this would be a really good adventure for thresh so some of you actually suggest a lot of good suggestions uh vegar some of you actually suggested yumi darius and i believe uh talia was in there as well so all these are pretty good suggestions but i think thresh would be the best here because we can again capitalize off the uh, nature's revenge so hopefully you're able to do that here my thresh is level 13 it's not exactly the strongest but we are going to give it a shot see how it all plays out so let's take a look at the build here shall we so in terms of the thresher we are going with a level 13 and two star thresh in terms of the star powers we have the come out and play plus one stung mana thresh costs one less for each ally you've slain this game save it a screams round start for each ally to dial s1 grant a random ally plus one plus one so pretty decent here we are going to try to capitalize off the save it a screams buff uh come out and play will be good because we are able to drop the thresh cost here so hopefully we're able to do that uh in terms of the let's see the uh, relics here there we go uh corrupted star fragment support kill my supported ally grant me skewers and stats i think this will be pretty good because we can potentially use this to essentially give thresh some instant stats which could be important uh we're gonna go to Warmox armor here at regen because I think this will be important to making sure Thresh is able to challenge and then at the same time survive with the regen so it will allow him to be in the game a little longer I think that's gonna be pretty nice so yeah a really simple and really decent combo here in my opinion one of you actually asked me why haven't I played the Yumi on the channel well the reason is quite simply because I still don't have enough fragments I've repeated this many times I apologize if you know some of you who are watching me for quite some time already know this but just in case any of you who are new out there are wondering why I don't play certain champions I don't have so Unfortunately, I don't have them all unlocked. If I go into my champion roster here real quick, you can take a look. Uh, if I scroll all the way down, you can see I still have Nar, Nami, and Yumi lock. I have been extremely unlucky with the fragments. I've never gotten a single Nar or Nami fragment until today. And as for the Yumi, I have gotten only five fragments so far. So unlocking any of these three is probably a thing in the future. Probably not in the horizon right now, unfortunately, because Riot refuses to give me enough fragments. That's all I can say. So just want to get that out of the way. And essentially, we are going to head back out. We are going to use Thresh into this one and see how we do against the four-star jinx all right as usual we're just gonna skip the load and as i mentioned earlier this is like my well not exactly my first attempt this is like i think attempt three or something so i have failed at the first two battles this one is pretty tough not gonna lie we are gonna be stuck with sympathy powers here so we are gonna pick them up see we could essentially use them to our advantage here uh, we're gonna hit the power node and i think we're just gonna pick up the uh, flexible game plan that's what we want that way we can potentially hope that we're able to increase the thresh draw Alright, so first enemy is going to be Legion Drummer. Alright, Warden Spray, Phantom Prankster. I think we're going to reroll all these. We'll hope that we're able to draw the Thresh here. Uh, Warden Spray is fine because it's a one cost and we do draw the Thresh cool. Warden Spray. Uh, let's go with first wave here. Probably not going to do anything yet. Let's end around. Victory requires a sharp blade. Right, I have an idea. I have an idea. Zero, one, two, two. Train one. Get rid of this guy. And yeah, that's about it. Why didn't Thresh get a stat decrease? 
Oh, for each ally... Wait, I've slain? Thresh costs one one less for each ally you've slain. Oh, okay, so we have to kill it ourselves. Alright, alright. Um, I wasn't paying attention to that. I was wondering why didn't, you know, the um, stat go down, uh, the, the cost go down. <laughs> Unfortunate here, so I guess we are going to have to kill some of our own allies. Um, we'll go Curse Keeper first. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just go... Yeah, we'll just go Valfis, get rid of it. That looks pretty rough, not gonna lie. Could be a little scary here. We are gonna have to drop Thresh on. Oh, holy shit. Kill the sky, kill the sky, 2-5, 2-3 uh, two, here, and 1-1 one, one here. We're gonna survive on 18 damage, Jesus. Alright, uh, wings in the wave, we'll go with prey. We get some pretty decent stat buffs here, which is nice. Uh, let's go with a Spirit Leech. I have an idea. We'll kill the zero one. one uh, To be careful, though. We don't mill ourselves. Uh, last breath. I think we'll not play that yet. Let's go ahead and just attack like so. We'll drag one of the tree force here. And we'll kill that. We have a couple of vengeances coming up, so we might be able... Well, not a couple, but at least one. So we might be able to finesse something here. But we need to be really careful, though. Um, this could get pretty crazy if we're not careful. I think it already has, if I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, I think we'll kill this 2-2 here. Oh, you know what? We might want to bring on a blocker. That might be better. Yeah, we'll go Cameroon Soldier. We need a blocker here. We need to block some of these units. 1-1. 5 5 3 the box. I think this was summoned this turn, right? Yeah, okay. So I think we'll kill this fellow instead. Is that the right call? Probably not. I tell you what, we'll just attack like so. Um, we don't need to play the box yet. I feel. Yeah. Oh, come on. Well, it's fine. Six damage is not too bad. Four cards. Um, I think we'll go with a... No, no, let's not summon anything here, I have an idea. We can give Thresh all the stats, which is pretty decent, so we'll just pass the turn first. Yep, because since he's the only one on the board, he's guaranteed to get all the stats, which is exactly what I want. We'll go Camavron Soldier here. Okay, we can play this to kill that tree too, that's probably what we'll do. Alright, nice. I think we might have to win here. Yeah. Ooh, not quite. Okay. Wow, not quite. What happens if we... I don't think that's gonna work, isn't it? Yeah, it's still the same. Alright, so we might as well just kill the um, Ephemeral instead. All cards. We can win in a couple turns, so I think it should be fine. I think we had Phantom Pranks that we could end this battle, but um, there wasn't an opportunity to play it, in my opinion. Alright, now I'll bring it on. 
Right, Dresh here. Four two here, zero three here. Um No, I have an idea. Ah, there we go. <laughs> we just cheese it a little bit. Cool. Alright, um, you guys are right. This is pretty tough. Let's hope we're able to survive here. We get a lifesteal with the Dark Water Scourge. I think that could be important. Uh, that way we could have Thresh, you know, um, get lifesteal. So I think that would be nice. Uh, support champion here. So we're gonna want to try to get something expensive. That way we can take advantage of the Thresh. Uh, ideally Aurelian Sol, Scion, or, you know, maybe... Well, probably not Scion, but Aurelian Sol or Trindamir. That would be really nice. So we're gonna try to reroll here, see if we can get that. Uh, Felius, Garen, and Kaiser. I really want to go Garen though. Garen's really easy to use. I know I used him yesterday, uh, but this could be pretty important because, um, you know, it could be really easy to just bring him on and just level him up. I'm also not really sure we're going to get Aurelian Sol or something. I don't want to spend all the rerolls on the support champion as well because if we don't get it, it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a waste, a big waste, I should say. Um, I think Garen's pretty nice. So do we want to reroll here? You know, I think we'll try one reroll. And, okay, I tell you what, we'll go with Sejuani. I really don't want to gamble anymore. Sejuani is pretty fine. Uh, minus two cost on her as well. She can come on easily. She also levels up pretty nicely too. So, I think we might just want to go for her. Alright, so let's see. We have a Fey Blade Twirler and a Marai Songstress here. So, I failed a couple times because I went to the Fey here because I needed the health. We are at 12 health, so I always wanted to grab the health. Uh, I don't think that's the right call here, so we're gonna try to go into the Marai here, see if we could, you know, progress the battle or the adventure a little bit. Okay, get gets a Joanne here on four cost, that's pretty nice. We're gonna reroll everything, let's hope we could draw the Thresh. And we get Thresh, cool. Overwhelm's pretty nice as well, because we are able to deal damage to the Nexus. Again, I didn't want to reroll too many times because I was worried that we might not be able to get a decent uh, champion there and we end up picking something else anyway. Um, we're just gonna go Valfies and kill this tree one. One and spray. Curse Keeper. Alright, I didn't I didn't anticipate nothing to block there. I thought I was gonna be blocking with something, but it's fine. Can bring on Sajwani now, that's pretty decent. Listen well, the waters speak through me. We'll just frostbite the four tree. I just realized that was probably stupid there, isn't it? Because now Sejuani doesn't have regen. Our Sejuani doesn't have regen. The enemy Sejuani usually has regen. Ah, oh, shit. I'm an idiot. I Now I can't attack with Sejuani. <laughs> Thresh on. Sometimes I hear his voice in calm waters. Russia is gone, child. We live on. We're gonna kill the 2 2 here. Yeah. Okay, this should help level up Sejuani a little bit. We have to block a little bit. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the health buff next turn, next game, but um, we'll see what we can do. Alright, I think we'll finally drop on the Phantom Prankster since we have the mana.
Is this the right call here? I want to do something a little crazy, but actually no, I think this might be better. Let's go Curse Keeper first. What is this? Don't tell me this is a skill spell or something. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, that's a bloody wall up there. Um... You know what, we'll just resolve it. No, we can still draw Sejuani, that's actually pretty decent. Uh, let's make sure we just have enough space. We'll drop Wolf Rider first. Tonight, and... We'll attack like so. We'll drag this tree for here. We'll drag this 2-6 here. Might be a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This might be better. Okay. This is probably better. If we can survive one more game, I think we should be fine. Uh, sorry, one more round, not one more game. That's cool. Okay, we can just kill them all here. Cool. 2-2 two, two and a 4-3. There we go. Yeah, well, let, 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 it, let it resolve. We can't do anything. Well, we probably got blocked that two tree there, but um, it's fine. I wasn't paying attention. All right, so now I think we should be able to get the win. Yep, cool. Alright, so we get Alpha Wild Claw here, Curse Symbol, Tree Tree, Ephemeral, not the greatest. Spirit Stone, Ward, and Spray, that could be pretty decent, but Death's Hand, deal to an enemy and one to enemy Nexus, I think we are gonna need this. Um, or do we wanna go with Spirit Stone? I think we'll go with Death's Hand, might be better. Alright, so we have Smooth Solo, so when the foe summons a unit, grant the foe strongest in it, plus one, plus zero, and Poro Slide, when the foe attacks, they summon an attacking random one, cost Poro. Honestly, I don't like any of these, but um, Spells Chess or Slaughter Dogs here. I think we'll just head to the Spells Chess, I feel. Yeah, we'll just head to the Spells Chess, it's fine. Uh, Battle Fury and Fury of the North. These are pretty good, I think we'll go with Fury of the North. Alright, we have a shop and a healer, no, uh, sorry, Gold Chess. We're gonna head to the shops, we're gonna take on the Smooth Solos. Okay, that Threshia again. We're gonna keep Dark Water Scourge because we can potentially make use of this. And we're actually gonna keep this, we have a really good curve here. Wings in the way, followed by Ruthless Raider, and then Dark Water Skirt seems fine. Wings in the wave. Oh. It's just gonna immediately attack here, isn't it? Well, no, at the very least, we can block one of it. Cool. Man, five damage, five health. I'm not sure how we're gonna survive this. We'll try, we'll try. Mm. Curse Keeper, I feel. Okay, we'll kill this 5 1 in the release. I'm not sure how we're gonna survive here, guys. I really don't. But um, we'll give it a shot. Our best shot. Warden Spray. Cameroon Soldier. Probably need to get rid of this guy, but that's 4 damage. I think we'll just kill the 2 2 first.
We need this dark water unit on, but we can only do it on an attacking turn. If not, we're going to be wasting it. Um... Let's kill this one, too. Oh, you know what? I think we'll just forego it. We'll just bring Onyx turn. We need it to defend. Uh, we can't, you know, get more health buff. At the very least, we are going to get 5 health back, which is pretty okay. If push comes to shove, it might come down to that. Alright, cool. So, I think we're able to do so. Uh, we're going to want Thresh to survive. We are going to kill this guy. And we'll let everything else die. Oh, we might actually just consume Sejuani here. That's actually pretty okay. I'm okay with that, honestly. That actually is possible. Unless we go Ruthless Raider first. Which is an option first, and I think that's what we'll do. Alright, cool. Mm, free off the north. We'll buff Sejuani. We'll probably kill that tree four next turn or something. We'll see. Let's just take it slow here. I think we should be able to walk away with this one. If we're careful. We'll take it slow, we'll take it slow. Leave no survivors. Ugh, we might just walk away with this one. Yeah, we might just walk away with this one. Alright, we'll plop on some units first. I have an idea what I'm gonna do. Uh, ooh. Phantom Prankster. Go with a Wolf Rider as well. Alright, I think... I think we're gonna be fine. We're definitely gonna be fine. Alright, beautiful. Um, let's drop this 1-1 one -one as well. If it blocks, it blocks. It's fine. It's just gonna deal damage with the Phantom Prankster here, so we're okay. It's 14 cards, 14 cards. We're fine, we're fine. A little bit longer, but we're fine. Okay, doesn't matter. Can actually go to the box here if we want to. That's just gonna kill everything. It's not important, but I'll do it. Uh, actually, no, we don't need to. We'll just commit. It's fine. Let's not waste time. Since we can, you know, um, afford not to. Uh, we'll just kill this guy then. Alright, cool. We win. Wow. This is really insane. Um... I never thought we were going to win there. I honestly, genuinely, never thought we were going to win there. We Alright, so Bark Beast, Everson, Sentry, and Piercing Darkness. We're going to go with the buff to Bark Beast. I think that's going to be important. But yeah, we walk away with that one. That is pretty insane. Uh, we're going to grab a power here. Sparring Student. That could be decent as a blocking unit, because we might need that. Um, or do we want to reroll here? I think we'll just pick this up. 
In terms of the cards, I really don't think we need anything. Well, the Haunted Relic could be decent. I think we'll grab some of these because that's actually ephemeral and that could actually help a little bit. Uh, buff the Warden Spray. Thank God I saw this. We'll purchase one copy. And that's about it. So we are going to head into the healer here. We'll purchase healing. And we're going to head into the gin. Alright, as usual, we're going to reroll. Let's hope we got uh, Thresh and possibly maybe even Sejuani if we're lucky. We get both of them. Really nice. Bark bees on. Uh, unfortunate. It kills us there. A little bit unfortunate. Uh, we're just gonna pass. Can't do anything. Art requires a certain... I think we'll go Death's Hand and preemptively kill this fellow. That way we could block the Jin. I don't really block the gin. I think we just kill the tree too. That might be better. Wings in the wave, prey on. Um I think we'll grab Sejuani. Uh let's give Oh, I think we can do this, right? Because that's not this is not a skill. There we go. That's not a skill. Beautiful. I was a little bit worried there because um, I thought this would be a skill, but thank god it's not, so we can just immediately um, bypass that check there, that spell shield check, that's pretty nice. Gonna attack like so, drag this guy here, hang the 1-1 back. That's good, that's really good. Really, really good. You recall that it's fine. We'll bring on the Thresh now. To hide. Drop the prey. Uh, Alright, we'll put the zero one here and Sejuani on the one tree. No run. We should be fine. If we can survive this onslaught, we're fine. Uh, Warden Spray on. Alright, Fear of the North. We just want that to survive. Alright, cool. Alright, 9-1. And it's out of mana, so it cannot play the Blade's Edge. Cool. Just want to be safe so that the Thresh will survive. Uh, we'll drop pocket picker. I think we'll be fine. We should be fine. Let's uh, deal tree and get rid of this guy. Uh, next turn, we, we won't have to deal with it. Right, wolf right on. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. We are fine. We should get double Sajuani's next turn, I believe. That's gonna be pretty insane. Um, like so. Bring the four for you. Yep, double Sejuani, really nice. Okay, um... Let's see, is there anything we can do? I don't think so, we'll just commit. Oh shit, I just realized... <laughs> well, I didn't anticipate that, it's fine. Let it resolve then. We lose one Sejuani, but it's cool. I will start bringing on Phantom Pranksters first. 
It's fine. We'll bring it on again. Alright, it's cool. Again, not a long battle, but it's fine. Um, the most important thing is that we get the win. That's probably more important, in my opinion. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy first because I don't want to deal with two of that. Um, Foul Feast isn't gonna do anything, so I think we'll just pass the turn. And that was a good choice to pass there, because now we can kill the Jin. So Vengeance on the Jin first, followed by a Valfis. What's gonna happen is that the Valfis will dispel the Spell Shield and the Vengeance will then kill it. Yep, very nice. Nice. All right, can frostbite all enemies, and we should be able to um, get a victory here. I believe. Uh, I think you know what? we can we can afford to summon some units. Let's drop the um, wolf rider first. Spirit leech will skip. That's fine. And I forgot that actually allows just to join any frost by everything. That's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we should have to win. Awesome. All right, awesome. So we get Ancient Coin, uh, Warding, uh, Warding Charm Spell Shield, and Philosopher's Stone. I think we'll go Ancient Coin on Thresh. That's probably going to be the best one. That way we can bring him on earlier. Uh, we're going to head into the Power Note first. Black Market Discount, Fair Senses, Sticky Fingers. We're going to reroll. This is a probably terrible set in my opinion. Uh, okay, we get a stun here. That is perfect. So good thing I hung on to some rerolls there because I think if we were to spend all of the champion and we don't get anything decent, um, I would have re regretted, you know, having to pick up something that didn't, won't, probably won't be too helpful. So we have a Mage Chicken Cider and a Stage End here. Four stuns and enemy give this four strongs in it plus two plus one. Uh, once the four has played a six plus cost spell this game, the spells cost two less. Um, that actually seems okay because I believe, oh, Smooth Solus is pretty nice. Yeah, I think we'll head up to this guy because he potentially will play Redouble Valus and because we have the stun, that will mean it will automatically stun that guy, so it could be pretty decent. So I think we're gonna head towards it. Alright, again, we're gonna reroll, try to get our champions here. That is probably gonna be our main priority. We get Sejuani, no Thresh. Kinda sad. Alright, I think we'll go Bark B7 idea. Oh, she's not to do anything. Cool, we'll end the round. I imagine it was gonna attack there, but apparently not. Um, Let's go Phantom Prankster now. Alright, I don't want this Bark Beast to die just yet. Probably gonna build the board, but it's fine. Drops a Juani now. It's gonna get. It's gonna stun the tree four, I believe. Yep, tree five, and get Thresh cool. Magic has no place here. I think we we'll bring him on first. Thresh here. One one here. Actually, no zero tree. You have a better idea. Yep, that way this guy gets the buff, and we keep all our units. Alright, so Johnny on. Uh, we'll Frostbite. Actually, no, there might be something good coming on here for the Marcia, possibly. 
Is there anything one cost that we can play? Uh, we can play a couple two cost stuff. So I think we might actually go for a Death's Hand. And kill this for two, I have an idea. Oh shit, this is three costs. God damn it. I thought Sejuani was... Ah, I'm an idiot. I'm a freaking idiot. I thought Sejuani was three costs and... Fuck, it plays crap shot here. We are in deep trouble. Fuck. Oh man, I hope this doesn't cost us here. This is bad and it silences that as well. One misplay and it takes everything out of, out of whack. Phantom Prankster. We might have to play Haunted Relic here just to essentially block some of these units coming on next turn. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. Holy shit. I hope that Thresh, losing that Thresh there isn't gonna kill us. Um, I tell you, bring on Sejuani here. We'll just Frostbite this for tree. <clears throat> Alright, thank god. So yeah, I knew Redouble Valor was coming. It's just gonna keep redoubling Valor, that guy. The strongest unit. And it's just gonna keep stunning it. So that's the good thing about the stun. But we now need to be careful... ...about how we block here. Um, I think we can kill the 0-2 because it's, you know, silenced permanently. At the very least, we have the 0-3 left. Uh, this got challenged, it's cool. Can't drain one here, we're just gonna end the round. Tell it, we'll kill this guy, let's hope we draw the Thresh. We're not gonna kill this fellow because that would probably be important. Uh, we'll actually go with a vengeance and kill this 7 7 here. Actually, hold on, the capture might be coming, so we might just hold on to that for a minute. Let's go with Warden's Prey first. What does he want from me? Oh, magic there might be a capture coming on soon, so we're just gonna keep the vengeance for that. Um. Not gonna play anything, we're just past the turn. We'll, we'll be patient with this. 10 cards left. 21. We might end up milling this guy. I might end up doing that, honestly. Control the mage. To control their magic. It's probably gonna be a capture coming. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, let's go to Bark Beast. Alright, we'll probably kill that 4-5. Actually, no. Let it capture first and then we'll kill it. Because I think that will... That will just override the Vengeance. We'll plop 3-3 tree tree here. 4-1 here and 1-1 one one onto this guy. Take only 3 damage that way. Uh, we'll let it capture first, it's fine. We'll bring on this guy first. Alright. Nice. Uh, we'll drop the Warden's Prey. This is not good. We might not be able to do anything here. We might just end up milling this guy because... We don't want Sejuani to die as well. 6, 4, 6, 7. Um, Capture's probably just gonna kick in. I tell you, we might just end up milling this guy. We'll see. Five four is not good. Challenger five four as well. Prove your worth. 
All right, I think we'll do this. Um, this gets challenged, which is a little unfortunate. Yeah, we might end up milling this guy. We might end up milling this guy. Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I'll feast train this guy. Uh, we'll probably bring on more units. Let's go... Wolf Rider. Curse Keeper. Not gonna bring on Dark Water yet. I'm still waiting for that Thresh. I'm still waiting for that second Thresh. And I can't seem to get him. Fuck it, we'll just mill him. <laughs> we'll just mill him. I'm sorry to resort to tactics like this, but I don't see a way out. We have to mill this guy. Yeah, can just keep redoubling Valor that stun fellow. That would be great. That would be perfect. Alright, um... Kill this fellow just to release our Sejuani. We'll block this guy. We'll pl plop the 4-4 four four here. Actually, we'll plop the 4-4 four four here and the 4-1 four here. Um, uh, curse keeper. Just train one, get rid of it. Still no thresh. You are kidding me. Magic stops with me. All right. Oh shit, I forgot Sejuani frostbites everything, so we should have just attacked there. That way we could have dealt some damage. I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know, when the game goes on too long, you start forgetting shit, so it happens. Well, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just a sucky player. I'm not sure. But I tend to forget things really easily. Let's drop the 7-6 Sejuani here. 4-1 um, down here, 5-4 here. We can't block anything. Again, we'll pass. Four cards left. Yeah, we're gonna mill this fellow. Jesus, this is a long-ass battle. Um, okay, let's not make the same mistake again. We'll just go Dark Ward. And actually, not yet. We'll just attack here. Stand and fight. We'll drag the 3-5 here. Actually, no, we'll put the 4-4 four, four here. You will not prevail. Can I actually do this. That way it poses no threat. Yep. Um, end the round. Okay, it's fine. That's perfectly okay. It's not the underworld. Uh, let's drop the Ruthless Raider here. Just keep redoubling Valor, that guy. Thank you. Just keep doing that. <laughs> Alright, and we're gonna plop the... Um, let's not do anything else. Pass the turn. Not yet. Okay, I think we'll just play onto Relic here. It's fine. I don't think we're gonna level up the Thresh. We're not even gonna see the Thresh, probably. And we'll lose the Luciforo, but it's cool. Uh, we'll just put one of the one ones here. Three more turns, we have to win. Three more turns. Ride onward. Mm. Do your worst. All right. Fight like the animal you are. Take a look. One more turn. <laughs> After this one, we win. Because the AI can't play any more cards. I'm sorry I had to come to this. I really am. But um, it is what it is. Sometimes you have to use these type of tactics to win. Not 
not the end of the world. We'll just spam on the relic here just to stall out the turn. All right, two, two, one, 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 and we win. So we can't draw anything next turn. You know, I'm not sure if you saw that there, but it took us that long to draw that fucking Thresh. You are absolutely kidding me. You're taking the piss, seriously. This game loves to take the piss. Uh, we're just gonna go to Spirit Leech here with a Scout, that's pretty decent. We're gonna head to Smooth Solos, of course. We can't purchase a power from here. Uh, Allied buffs, can't stop, won't stop reading party. I think we'll reroll here. And, ooh, mana flow's good. We are picking this up, no question about it. That is amazing. We are gonna head to the shop here. Grab a power, lie in wait, and eh, we can't afford it, unfortunately, so we are gonna have to go ahead and grab something else. Uh, actually, let's just hit leave first. Let's see what we have ahead. We have a, another smooth solos and a champion item chest. I tell you what, we're not gonna purchase anything here then. We're just gonna work with what we've got, and we'll see. If we feel lucky, we might go to the champion item chest, or we might go to the smooth solos. We'll see what we do, but let's head to the Orbit of the Peak first. Manager is gonna be sweet. We are gonna reroll here at Sepsajwani. No, actually, we'll keep everything. That's actually pretty decent. One, two, three, and four. That's actually pretty nice. I just hope we don't have to mill this guy again, because we have 40 cards and 32. It's going to be impossible to mill. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Uh, Ruthless Raid on. Fight or die. Bark Piece on. Okay, cool. So, Warden's Prey on first. The chains, they never stop. There's gonna be a zero-cost unit coming on for sure. I want to join you Frostbite that. Could be worth it. We'll try it. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Absolutely spectacular. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We predicted that perfectly, and we killed and nullified that 6 6 unit. Let's just not get too overconfident here. There's still a lot of things that can go wrong. Need to be sure that we keep a calm head. And of course, it does that. <laughs> it kills us at Joanny here. Unfortunately. Um, well, at least we have a zero cost vengeance, so that's an option first. Uh, we'll drop a Warden Spray. Alright, let it resolve, it's fine. Curse Keeper. We have a zero cost vengeance here. So I'm waiting for whatever unit's coming on. I think we'll just kill. Do we wanna do it? Nah, I do we wanna do it? That's the thing. No, I don't think we're gonna do it. Let's go Valfies and just drain our own unit here. Vengeance is back at 5. Alright, we'll go Wings in the Wave. We'll kill this tree tree. Pass the turn first. Okay, thank you for killing. That actually helps us. That actually helps us out a lot. Um, unfortunately, we can't really play that yet if we want to play Vengeance. I think we'll play Vengeance and kill it. Right, we're gonna attack here because we have the advantage. Now we lose one unit, unfortunately, but it's fine. We're still waiting for Thresh. We need that Thresh. They cannot strike what they cannot see. Okay, I think we'll kill that sickness here. Actually, we will not do that yet. Let's plop on some units first. Uh, no, I think we'll just kill the sickness. I have an idea. Right? Is that the right call? 
Yeah, I think so. Alright. Minion? I tell you what, we'll kill this 1-2, 4-4, tree. And we should have a free attack next turn. Wings in the wave. Kill the minion. We get Thresh, cool. Um, I think we'll plop Thresh on first. I have an idea what I want to do. We have the Frostbite Sajorni available. That's an option. Not yet, not yet. Um... Yeah, not yet, because there might be some better units up, or possible, possibly, you know, something crazy coming on. So I think we'll just drop Ruthless Raider first. We can just replace one of the tree trees, it's fine. This land is ours. Oh, that, that was the zero cost, cool. So that's fine, we can immediately just place a joining here, replace the tree tree, and frostbite the 6-6. Six, six. No Very nice. No Words to die by. Um... I don't think we need to do anything here. I tell you what, let's just attack. We'll have Thresh go last. We'll attack with everything first. Uh, Thresh will kill the tree one here. We'll put the zero six here. And yeah. Alright, that's fine. We might have played this perfectly. I hope so. Um, we're gonna go with the minion again. Warden's prey on first. Okay, we can kill the sickness now, cool. So, good thing we have the Death Sand here, that's just helping us out a lot, beautiful. I just hope there's no Celestial units that can be crazy here, I hope not. Serpent Challenge is fine. Another Sickness. Uh, we'll probably use the Drain here. Yeah, we'll have to use the Drain here. Okay, cool. I think we might just have to win here. That is going to be really good. Um, we're probably going to be able to heal up later, so I think we'll just go and immediately have Thresh kill the 2-2. And... Support Sejuani, and we should be fine. Yep, beautiful. Alright, good stuff. So we get Wings and the Wave here, Tusk Speaker and Reblighter Ravine. We're gonna go with the Wings and the Wave buff, obviously. And I tell you what, I don't think we're gonna be able to afford another power, so I'd rather go to Champion IM Chest, see if we could get something else. And we get another minus one cost, double time watch as well. These are pretty good. I think we'll actually go with double time watch. That will allow us to bring on a Thresh a little bit cheaper if we have to. Or getting a Fury could actually be decent. Yeah, Fury is better because we have the CSF, right? Yeah, Fury is definitely much better. Okay, so we're going to go with the Fury here. Dragon Stuff is going to be great. We're going to head to the healer here, obviously. We're going to purchase some healing. And it's a good thing we didn't purchase anything because we wouldn't have enough gold to purchase health here. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to take on the Jinx. Alright, Sejuani so again. We're gonna reroll everything here. We will keep Sejuani and hope we get Thresh. Uh, no Thresh, unfortunately. But at least we get some cheap units, which is pretty alright. But we need to hope we get lucky here.
The stun is great. The stun is definitely helping us out a lot. I cannot deny that. The stun is pulling in, uh, putting in the work. Um, let's go Bark Beast here. Train one. I wish I've gone with Phantom Pranks today. There would have been so much damage here. Okay, I'm gonna bet Jinx is gonna come on, and we have the perfect response, which is a Sejuani. Very nice. Absolutely spectacular. Alright, we're gonna drag 4 4 here, and we'll try to see if this 1 2 will block Sejuani. Unfortunately, not. I think we can play this and just kill this guy. Next time. Curse Keeper. Okay, Spirit Leech, because this guy is Scout. That's gonna be pretty decent. No Thresh, unfortunately, and shit, kills our Scout unit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's fine. Not the end of the world, obviously. Uh, but I think we're just gonna attack you. It should be okay. Actually, we'll hang this tree tree back. Let's try to whittle damage if we can. If we have to. But I really want that Thresh. I need that Thresh. Thresh is gonna be important. Alright, how much damage is this? 7-4. I think we don't need to play Fear the North yet. We'll keep it. Alright, we'll drop all our pranksters now. We ought to be fine. Uh, Warden Spray. We should be okay, don't worry, we should be okay. Ah, oh, come on, where's the Thresh man? Um, I think we'll finally play Dark Water because we need that heal. Our health's dropping really low. Alright, so Sejuani first. No, actually no, let's go... Wait, there's a support here, right? Okay, I think we'll just let it support this 5-5 then. Uh, we can probably just play Fear of the North on Sejuani if we have to. And we should be okay. Or do we want to put this 4-2 back? No, we'll just attack with it. Alright, Fear of the North. Buff Sejuani. Alright, it's gonna kill these two. Which is fine. We can't even... No, we'll not go Spirit... Uh, un unleash Spirit yet. Not yet, not yet. Not yet. Nice. Well, on. Oh, actually, we should have gone that there. That way we could have killed them. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I'll probably just stun. We'll see. Jinx is gonna get stunned here, so we might be able to survive a little bit. But I really hope we get a Thresh soon. Dark Water Scourge. I think we'll go Vengeance and kill this 4-4. I have an idea. Alright, we'll plop on the Wolf Rider here. Play that, but it's fine. Not the end of the world. I think we're okay. 
cutting it really close here, but I think we're fine. I'll finally get Thresh. We're gonna bring him on. Okay, thank you. You're actually helping us here. Because now I can bring on Dark Water Scourge. And have Thresh kill that and essentially give us lifesteal. That's gonna be great. Uh, we'll just attack like so. We can attack with everyone. It's perfectly fine. You can death rock at all you want, it's fine. Trust me. We're not um, concerned by that here. We, we're okay. We're really okay. Again, a fairly long and drawn out battle, but the most important thing is that we get the win here. Um, Sejuani, I think we'll just play Fear of the North. We'll buff it. Why not? Yep, we have to win. <laughs> Good stuff. Alright, beautiful. Uh, let's go Sejuani first. That way we can have free reign of the Nexus. Alright guys, and that is adventure complete. So, obviously, uh, yeah, it took a little longer than expected. Well, then again, my Thresh was at, I believe, level 11 or something. Or oh, was it level 13? I can't remember. Heading into this one, he was at a fairly lower level. And obviously, because, you know, at this lower level, and I think the lack of a third star here, it's, you know, gonna be a little bit slower. I think that's pretty much understood. But it's still pretty decent, especially for the Thresh, because, you know, it seems like this is a really good adventure to level him up. Uh, I did get a little bit lucky, I'm not gonna deny that. I got, you know, the uh, stun here and then the mana gem. But all in all, yeah, it is a pretty challenging adventure. I am definitely not going to deny that at all. But anyway, we are running out of time, so we are going to have to end things here for now. So if you guys enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like as well as subscribing to the channel. I really, really do appreciate the support. But most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of Legends of Runeterra or Path of Champions content just like this one. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching as well as joining me on this video. This is Kevlo signing off. Hopefully, I catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.